around the country seeing new ways to celebrate the holidays and an appreciation of the classics. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Thank you to our co-host Elizabeth Stanton and all our performers for rocking in the season. Have a Merry Christmas wherever you are. And a Happy New Year. Now at 10, it was a Christmas full of sun and surf for beachgoers all across Southern California, as some parts of this region saw temperatures hitting in the low 80s. And it was a very different story for most of the country as brutal cold and dangerous storms upended holiday plans and caused a travel nightmare for the holidays. The impact it's now having on travel at LAX. And a fresh round of warnings now from LA County health officials after our third pandemic era Christmas. What they say you can do to stay healthy and reduce the spread of COVID as a new year approaches. Now on the News at 10. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Manny Rose Ramos. It was a warmer than average Christmas right here in Southern California this year, but we're not complaining. Yeah, about 15 degrees warmer actually than normal. John Finolio spent the day out in Santa Monica talking to beachgoers about this coastal Christmas. Hey, good evening, everybody. Santa Monica is packed this Christmas day, and the warm weather had people flocking to local beaches to soak up some sun. No. It's mind blowing. I thought we thought that nobody was going to be out here because it's Christmas and it's twice as many people out here than any other day. And who could blame them with weather like this? It's perfect Southern California, 75 degree weather. Yes, it was a warm and sunny Christmas day across greater Los Angeles, drawing large crowds to beaches up and down the coast. We decided just to take a stroll to the beach and surprise because it's full of people. We were expecting everything close. For visitors like Hazel Weatherby from Memphis. And very cold, it's like three degrees. <laughs> LA has been a welcome reprieve this holiday as winter storms roll through the U.S., leaving millions of people in freezing temperatures. There's a lot of people on the beach, in the water. Really? Mm -hmm. Families, a lot of families. Yeah. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, travel conditions are improving, but winter weather and air traffic volume could still cause delays to holiday travel. Oh, I love it. It's like summer. Shira Sharma left her home in Ohio just before the storm hit. If you have a snowstorm happening there and people can't really get out of their houses, it's, it's bad. She opted to extend her trip a few days, as did Carlos Berduzgo and his family visiting from Mexico City. He offers this advice for families this holiday. Our family is the most important thing that we can uh, to keep for everybody. Let's stay together in family. I think that is the most important thing that we can uh, learn each year. Mm -hmm. Stay together. A very, 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 merry Christmas to you. If you are traveling and headed to the Midwest or Northeast, you might still experience some flight disruptions. According to Flight Aware, LAX had a total of 120 canceled flights today, along with 296 delays. Reporting in Santa Monica, I'm John Finolio, KTLA 5 News. Rick, I love seeing the families in there who saw that it was warm here, and so they extended their trip in Los Angeles yeah. even longer. Smart they had move, the right huh? idea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, very smart. But move. Kai, it's not going to last forever. No, but you know uh, what? We've really been blessed. We've been very fortunate to see such a beautiful weekend, and just in time for your Christmas holiday and Merry Christmas, everybody. It is still gorgeous downtown Los Angeles, right behind me, and we're continuing to stay under mostly clear skies. But what a day today! Record-breaking heat for your Christmas, as Woodland Hills made its way to a brand new record high of 85 degrees out at the airport LAX in the Santa Monica air, airport area in the Santa Monica Bay rather looking forward to record high today as well 83 degrees the Corona Airport not a record but very impressive at 86 degrees in Santa Ana coming in with a daytime high of 83 degrees once again mostly clear to have a little bit of some cloud cover however as we take a look a little bit further up north towards San Luis Obispo
Expo. Prefrontal cloud cover, and I say that because we're expecting to see some rainfall coming to Southern California.